Hey, hey, what's up guys? So I recently spent three weeks in Shargao in the Philippines. So in this video, I want to recap some adventures. So if you happen to be interested in coming to visit this special place yourself, maybe this can act as a little guide about how to get the most out of your experience here in Shargao. in Shargao, I teamed up with a brand called Kermit to experience the best of what Shargao has to offer. So before I show you some adventures and some cool things to do, I first just want to briefly explain what Kermit is. So Kermit is a resort and also a pretty damn good restaurant too. It is breakfast time. We're here at Kermit of course getting some delicious breakfast and check it out. Meet Marco. Hello. Hey. <laughs> he's working here at Kermit and he's helping us organize all our tours and all that good stuff. So thank you so much, Marco. It will really be fun. Yeah, I'm That's looking for forward sure. to it. In the next few days, we're gonna go take some surf lessons. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go on a land tour. We're gonna go on a boat tour. And Sugba Lagoon. And Sugba Lagoon. So he's helping us organize all this. I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be a good time. <laughs> and one of the first things we did in Shargao was actually take a surf lesson with some of the Guapitos surf instructors. When you step like this, you just step under you. Right here. Yeah. And then you step like this. Yeah. Nice. That's it. Woo. They actually came out in the water with us and they didn't have surfboards so they would push us into the waves and that was really helpful because it kind of skips the whole step of anticipating when the wave is coming. Uh, eventually we were able to try to catch waves ourselves but it really helps when someone's pushing you into the wave because you just catch it and then it's about balance and then they tell you what you did right and what you did wrong so the next time you get a wave you know how to do it better so that was really cool and I definitely feel way more comfortable on a surfboard now. Surf lesson success! Alright guys, thank you so much for an You're awesome welcome. surf lesson! Yay! See you when I see you! Okay, <laughs> like tomorrow at Kermit. Thank that was really fun. That was the most productive surf session I've had in my entire life. Caught so many waves. It's definitely much easier to surf when you have someone pushing you into the waves. <laughs> <laughs> it's much easier when you're at the right place at the right time too, as opposed to like guesstimating by yourself, like maybe over there. So if you stay in General Luna, which is one of the most popular areas in Shargao, you're definitely going to be offered a tour of the island, the island hopping tour. It's just the most common thing to do. Hello, hello. Good morning. Today Steve and I are here with Kermit Shargao doing an island hopping tour. First off is Naked Island. Typically all the tours do the same exact thing. They go to three different islands. Naked Island, which is just literally an island that's naked. It's called that because it doesn't have any trees or anything on it. Pretty much just a sandbar, but it's really beautiful. And the water around it is so blue. We were only at Naked Island for maybe 40 minutes. But then the next place we went to was called Daku Island. And that is beautiful. Daku actually translates to big in English, so it's called Big Island because it's a big island and it's filled with what looks like millions of palm trees. It is so beautiful and we spent a good amount of time here. And the other people we were on the tour with were really cool and we ended up playing volleyball with them for a while and we all shared lunch together so we spent most of our time on the tour here at Daku. And the final island we went to was a smaller island called Guyam and sure enough Guyam translates to small in English. And this is a perfect little island that's nice to chill at, much smaller, so you're not here for as long as you are at Daku. We ended up staying there for about an hour, and that concluded our tour, so we went right back to Shagao. And the next day, we went on a tour of a very popular place called Suba Lagoon. <coughs> <laughs> that was gross. Hey, <laughs> Today we came to the east side of Shargao in a place called Del Carmen and right behind me you can see a little section of what is the largest continuous mangrove system in the Philippines. And today we're hopping on a boat, we're doing another Kermit tour, we're going to Sugba Lagoon 
And fun fact, this mangrove system actually hosts an animal called Crocodilius porosus. That's a scientific name, but they're basically very large crocodiles. In fact, they're the largest saltwater crocodiles in the world. And today, we're going swimming in a lagoon, so hopefully we don't see any. <laughs> expecting to go to Suba Lagoon first, we actually came to a beautiful island called Kauhagan and there's no one else here. So our tour guide Lauren was telling us how she prefers to come here first because no one's here. All the other tours go to Suba Lagoon first and she said we'll probably eat lunch here and then around 11.30 a.m. we'll shoot over to Suba, typically when everyone leaves Suba to come here. So smart strategy to avoid the crowds. Good job, Lauren. We just finished lunch and now we are headed to... Super Lagoon! Yeah, yeah! Let's do it! a bunch of things like paddle boards and kayaks that you can explore the whole lagoon or you can get this raft which you can't really leave this this rope you can just pull all the way up to the other side but for Pema this is more Instagrammable so hey. of course we're doing hey. this thank you thank you <laughs> see this is the more logical thing to do when you come here to actually explore the lagoon <laughs> but this looks so much better on Instagram guys <laughs> so what are we doing now Pema we are having a backflip workshop where Steven's gonna learn how to do a backflip, but a little bit harder because they're doing it from water level. But I have faith in him. I know he can get this. The main thing is we're gonna start with our hands up like this. We're gonna swing our arms back and bend our knees like this. And then you use that momentum to swing yourself forward. Look back, keep your head back because your body will follow your head wherever you're looking. And don't forget to actually use your legs because you're just kind of like limp fall backwards. You got the rotation, but you're not putting in the full power. Okay. So, let's start. <laughs> nice one. Yeah, I am learning from a master right here. <laughs> you got to see them. You got it. <laughs> Don't know. There's some fun things to do around Chargao. If you're interested in visiting yourself, I highly recommend checking out Kermit as they offer great tours. And the restaurant is just unbelievable. So good. We had food. Oh, we had so much good food there. 
yeah, I'm just thinking about it now. And I'm getting hungry, so I'm probably gonna go get some food pretty soon. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful if you're interested in visiting Shargao yourself. If you're not already, I appreciate if you click that subscribe button, leave a like, comment below what you enjoyed about this video, and follow me on Instagram as I'll be sharing daily travel updates and more cool stuff on there. All right, guys, that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.